Good afternoon, friends. Uh, let's proceed further to something uh, very different from the uh, usual things uh, that I keep uh, introducing in my playlist. However, from past uh, one week, I was trying to, um, you know, proceed further and uh, was trying to analyze a data set that was available for me. Um, and this was in our studios. So suddenly, um, you know, I was in discussion with somebody and somebody told me what don't you go ahead and publish it i just looked at them and i said publish my code now how am i supposed to do that so uh, there are varieties of ways in which i could have taken care of and then i was apprised with few um, i would say products which were absolutely mind-blowing for me and i really liked them i mean say goodbye to the world of papers notebooks and the way we used to carry things out in our traditional uh, academic um, shops of ours i would say now now here comes an entirely new thing which uh, you know was given to me by my favorite um, art studio and I really like art products because they make our life so simple and so uh, convenient uh, for each one of us that you cannot uh, wait. So you know times are changing and with the time I'm seeing that uh, where I am proceeding further. So you know being a compulsive writer uh, I could see that yes I have my own notebook which I can publish anytime I don't have to pay to any publisher in fact now I think publishers will be looking at my things and uh, you know we should go ahead and start working out in those areas also side by side so I think uh, academics uh, life is completely changing rather than uh, just looking at uh, certain things there was time when we were simply uh, writing journals diaries I would say notebooks were there then I remember as a child I used to write in my notebook or my father used to give to me a diary every year so you know I used to write a letter to him whenever he was not at home and uh, you know by the time he used to come back I used to give it to him see what I have written for you dad or my mom uh, you know after if I had to complain about certain things and I know that uh, if I tell them directly it will be very difficult so I know as a child um, you know how many ways I used to write uh, sometimes I was making greeting cards sometimes uh, just to show my anger uh, towards them if my uh, favorite book you know because again I used to read a lot as a child um, uh, so you know so if I never used to get that book I used to throw tantrums across my parents saying that see this is not available in library or I was not able to purchase it so you know there were certain ways in which I could see however now when I see these things um, coming up which are completely changing our lives I think we should go ahead and look at these certain things and uh, welcome to um, uh, I would say the new academic area where uh, you know the scenario is completely changing so you know uh, you must be wondering what is she talking about now here you will see I'm talking about uh, ours uh, one of the product which is called as the markdown now if you look at uh, various products uh, which have been given to us uh, by R you will see one of them is shiny app then you are looking at R studios then you have got R commander markdown now you will see that the markdown uh, is there then you have got you can make your own files you can make your projects you can publish them on R communities or R public or you can create your own notebook I would say and there are so many things so you know uh, while I'll be introducing to all these things you will see that yes definitely the world of our academics is also changing now academic life is not just restricted to um, writing and publishing or just bothered about our dissertations or even our thesis now if I show you with mark down the way you can present your thesis or the dissertations or the way you're going to write your research paper or the article is something very 
different and you will see how we are making and i'm pretty sure that in next coming few years we would be in an entirely different domain then that paradigm shift i'm able to see right now in the world of academic so with this i welcome each one of you to the markdown uh, paper and let's proceed further and to understand what is this markdown i'm talking about what are the various tools which are there for us and within the uh, markdown guide what are the things that i'm talking about now here um uh, first of all in my next uh, immediately the next video uh, of mine we will understand what is markdown all about why uh, we are supposed to understand markdown guide and number 2 why should i be bothered about it first of all so here you will see uh, the questions raising out with us what is markdown why use markdown how does it work and uh, you know in what way is it going to be good for me what are the various tools which are present so that you know i can become a smart academician myself now when i say academician i'm including researchers writers publishers then even uh, the scholars faculty and uh, the other students who are keen to make themselves uh, too smart in the world of the technology that's where our technology is taking us now if i tell you for example uh that yes you can go ahead and you can uh, you know contribute certain things all by yourself to the world of uh, technology that can be one thing you can collaborate uh, you know let's say if i'm st in india and uh, let's say one of my friend is somewhere far off in us or let's say even in india it's a, let's say uh, the person is in uh, kashmir or down at bangalore or tamil nadu or mumbai then how am I I going to collaborate with them so do i have to uh, go ahead and purchase uh, uh, things like i mean we have got the tools like ennos mendeley latex then you have got um uh, metlab you know they are a bit expensive now here uh, when i'm seeing that yes the world is talking about where in a uh, majority of the developers programmers then uh, computer engineers the information technologists then i'm also looking the domain of the doctors nurses everybody is using the applications which are coming in absolutely free so why should we go ahead and talk about those things so if it is with them now what kind of a tools markdown is giving us so that i can go ahead for the collaborations then we have got another applications which are exclusively dedicated to windows or uh, even for macos or ios devices then uh, there is a, a difference if you remember some of my uh, videos in this but uh, i mean in the playlist you can have a look at it i definitely gave uh, took uh, uh, some kind of an in initiative to understand how to proceed further for note taking note taking note making note teaching i have distinguished all these things now within our uh, itself you will find out that within the domain of markdown there is another tool which helps you to go ahead and take your own make your own notes now i don't have to keep a notebook or a pen and start taking now that's the way which i'm going to distinct uh, i mean going to introduce that also similarly uh, we have got the editors now by word and you will see how to uh, become a very good editor all by yourself similarly we have got um, another uh, kodi uh, md which is again a real time collaborator uh, as a editor we will be understanding over that also then collected notes is a uh, one more tool wherein you would see that yes whatever i have uh, got with me in my note i can go ahead and i can publish it now for example let's say i'm attending uh, one of the classes and i'm sure my friend is not available now i'm very good at taking notes now this is something that i get a compliment that ramini's notes are very good now if that is so then everybody tells me ramini why don't you share your notes with us so that you know whatever points we have missed it we can even have a look at it by looking so you know rather than being secretive and keeping my notes we know all these things as a child um you know we used to do it whatever notes we were taking it we were very possessive and we never shared it with our friends however with uh, the philosophies which are changing across the world with the uh, technology you will see that note taking 
um, platform is completely different and you can publish it across the net and everybody who is keen to look at it they might uh, go ahead similarly we have got Dillinger which is more um, designed for example on the go writing now for example we are traveling uh, I travel a lot so you know rather than just looking here and there I prefer to sit and write down whatever is coming at that time whatever my mood is sometimes I write a poem sometimes I'm writing a short story sometimes I go back for my own romantic story or uh, you know some research paper or I'm reading and commenting on something so you know there are so many ways so here on the go you can go ahead and you can make your own writing similarly you have got wherein um, you can I'll show you the different tool and you will see that the world of academics in terms of documentation knowledge basis then uh, the way you are sharing your notes whatever creative you are doing it with the help of the innovation number one creativity then being it your property you see that is also very much important we are not supposed to ignore intellectual property domain at all so you know how these things are helping you even that is also available so is it just the desktop or the laptops only that I can do no even with the mobile devices there are certain things which is there and you will see how those things are helping uh, so we have products like Git Journal, which helps us to um, do, I mean, uh, carry forward with the writing with the help of the mobile phones. Similarly, uh, there are other uh, products also, which we will see. And I will definitely introduce these things so that our world of academics is also completely changing. For example, uh, I know that there is uh, one particular, I mean, a series of videos in one of the playlist um, uploaded by Neeraj sir, wherein he has uh, taken that pain to showcase to you how to prepare a word document, how to save it, how to introduce various headings, formatting, everything he has take, uh, made you understand over there. However, through Markdown also, there are ways in which you can go ahead, you can prepare your documentation completely as it is and you can share it across the world rather than getting it printed out, doing the corrections and all. So how those things are also there, you can have a look at it and you will see that all the scholars who are registered for their MPhil and PhDs will be very helpful because that makes your work much more easier. You know, you can introduce the grammatical tools, you can keep on changing, you can add, you can delete. So, you know, without spending a lot of money on other um, tools, these things are coming in with the markdown. So, um, you know, we will see all these things uh, coming up in, in future in my own videos wherein you will have a look at it and you will understand how to proceed further with your academic writing, publishing and even creating them so that it can be shared with others. Uh, you can also look at where others are moving and definitely yes on a daily basis you are publishing and you are proud of it. So let's uh, wait for my next video and we can go in from there. Till then thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.